I have these unfinished wood flowers. They came from Joanne Fabrics, and I'm going to be using two of them. And I'm going to start by painting the stem with some Wise Owl Dry Thyme. Now, if you cannot find these exact flowers, they have similar ones at the Dollar Tree and at Hobby Lobby as well. I'm then going to go to the top part and paint the petals using some Wise Owl Goldenrod. And I'm just going to make sure I give good coverage on both the dry time and the goldenrod. Now I allowed this to dry for a couple minutes, but it is not fully dry. And I'm going to go in with some Wise Owl Republic Red. And I'm just going to draw some lines to separate the petals. I'm also going to go around the outside of the petals and brush on some of the Wise Owl Republic Red as well. Now I'm just doing a very small amount. Again, the goldenrod is not fully dry. And you can go as heavy or as light with the Republic Red as you would like. Now while everything is still wet, I'm going to take a small spray bottle of water and mist the water on, and then I'm going to take a smaller art brush and just kind of pull the Republic Red down from the tips of the petals into the center of the flower, and I'm just going to start blending everything together. Now you can go back and add more Republic Red in areas that it did not stay very pronounced and you're just going to blend it around and again misting it just helps move the paint around and you want to do this while everything is still wet and I love the colors together and I love how that looked now I have the second flower I'm going to repeat the same exact steps I painted my stem with the wise owl dry time and then I painted the top of the flower with some raspberry beret then I'm going to go in with some wise owl snow owl and I'm going to do the same exact thing I'm going to create my lines to separate the petals I'm going to add some snow owl to the tips of the flower petals and I'm going to do this again while the raspberry beret is still a little bit wet and then the water you're going to spray on and then you're just going to pull the white from the tips of the petals and bring it to the center. Now the white you are going to have to do a few times. You're going to kind of have to just mess with it. Now there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I'm really just adding the white to the raspberry beret, spraying some water on it so we could just get a nice blend of the different colors and it just kind of makes the flower look really pretty. And this is just a very easy way that you can paint these. You have so many different options and colors as well. So I'm going to allow those to fully dry. I got this little box from Dollar Tree. The smaller one is almost like a drawer that pulls out of it. But I'm going to just take them apart and drill a hole into the top of each one. Now I want to make sure my hole is big enough so the stem of the flower can fit into it. So I kind of drilled two holes right next to each other. Now this is a very thin wood, so you could see that the top of it was kind of peeling. And that's the drawer I'm talking about. You get these right from the Dollar Tree. You can also just buy the cubes as well. They just are a little more pricey. I'm going to stain those with some General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain. And I'll stain both of them, all sides of the box. And then I have the little tumbling tower blocks. You get these in a pack from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to stain four of those with the General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain as well. Now once everything is fully dry, I'm going to glue my first tumbling tower block about an inch up on my stem. And I'm going to place that inside the hole that we drilled into one of the boxes. And I'll take a second tumbling tower block and glue it on the back side. And this is what's going to keep our flower standing after we place the stem inside of the hole. And I'm going to repeat the same thing with the second one. And I'm just going to finish these off by adding this really cute bee stencil to the front of these. I got this stencil right from Hobby Lobby. You can add a word. You can add 
a design, you could leave them blank. So many different options in there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.